guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And I'm back with a lifestyle topic on balancing like your day job versus your like side hustle or passion, whatever you want to call it. I feel like this video will be very helpful for those who want to balance something along with like their full-time job. So let me just start off by saying like this thing is not easy. I feel like there's a lot of struggles with balancing your side hustle and it's like it's it's a lot so let's just get into it um the first thing is discipline 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 in order for you to really get into your passion when you get home or you know have that motivation or fire under your belt to create content when you get home like it it's a it's a discipline you have to be able to come home and put in at least like even if it's 30 minutes into you creating content that all counts as investing into your side hustle so just taking that time and building that discipline so okay today i'm gonna take like 30 minutes when i get home and i'm gonna research like i guess the top companies that's go that the top uh beauty companies that are releasing products in the next couple of weeks like just so you know and you're up in the know about your industry and like what you want to actually um, blog about so i think discipline is definitely key if you don't have that you will not get a lot done i'm not saying i'm a pro when it comes to discipline but i am very happy that i'm able to kind of balance this thing and yes it does take some sacrifice so sometimes you're not sleeping as much sometimes you just feel like your life which i said on my insta stories is like a series of deadlines like deadlines from being a teacher and getting stuff done deadlines from like if you work with brands you have post deadlines you have just like your own blog content creator deadlines <laughs> that you set up so it definitely um has a lot to do with discipline number two i think you need to be very uh like you need to be able to separate like professionalism versus your blog like i feel like people when they look at me they're like oh e like you live a double life but it's like actually no like here i'm at my job would i dress up the way i do in front of my students versus like on the weekends and it's like that's okay but it, it, it has to get through my mind where it's like am i really living a double life no it's like you don't give yourself or you don't connect with all people on a level where it's like okay when i'm at my job like i'm totally like talking to everybody and no it doesn't mean that it's like this is what i do outside my job this is what i do at my job and like balancing the two you find a few close friends and then outside your job you do you and it's okay but don't feel like you have to i don't know it's like this double life thing let me know if you're a blogger as well and have a nine to five but it's like i have to get out of that it's like no actually no this is what i do and this is my passion outside of work do I have the space or the time to actually show that in my um, day job? No, not at all. This is why I do it outside of work. Third, delegate, delegate, delegate. This is something that I said for 2019 that I am going to do. So I cannot do everything. Like, yes, I'm great at video editing. Yes, I'm great at graphics. I went to school for communications. So I learned how to use a lot of the Adobe products. I taught myself how to um, edit on Final uh, Cut Pro and stuff like that. But do you really have the time, especially when you're stretching yourself like daily on like doing the research and trying to write blog posts, like trying to get people to take your pictures, like certain things like you can give off to different people and price up and coming people. Like if you need a social media manager, which I'm like, I don't know right now, I'm like thinking I I'm not sure if I want that or whatever. I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't think right now this is not an option for me. But if you're bigger and you really wanted someone to manage like the back end of things whether that's like social media or your website you can hire people who are currently in college and not to say that you're going to price them low on purpose but it's like learning to give them an opportunity to lift them up to and what they're doing and what they're pursuing so i learned that at, at all times you can't do everything so things where you feel like you're stretching yourself a little bit too thin or times where you feel like you're stretching yourself a little bit too thin you have to be able to say like okay great maybe so and so can do this for me how much do you charge what are your rates i have the budget of x are you able to meet that budget and i think that's what makes uh collaboration like i said collaboration 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 so powerful um is that it helps you to do more 
you know, when you're working with other people. And I'm learning that because I really don't like to ask for help. I had a lot of nightmares when it comes to people helping me, a lot of disappointments. But I have to learn when to operate in, you know, not, when not to be operated in, like, trauma versus, like, really being wise in the situation. So, so the last point I want to make is about accountability and support. So it's totally different um, having like one of your friends like support you and be that like encouragement when you need them to be. Like you know you have certain friends for certain things. So it's like guys like I'm feeling like very, I'm like I'm doubting myself right now. And I think it's so good to have like a blogger friend to talk to um, when you do feel down and like a blogger friend to talk to who you need accountability with like genuine people not someone who's trying to like use and abuse you or anything but having like genuine genuine people in your corner to be like listen this is how I'm feeling like can we talk I need your support I need a little bit of words I need words of encouragement um, which I think is amazing so I think that means being honest and being able to express like how you're feeling in the moment and being vulnerable enough to let someone know about that like to me i feel like i'm still working on that but i am better with my friends so they are like we're in a much better place trust me so yeah i think it has a lot to do with like vulnerability and being able to set that space of like this is a safe space e um if you have something to say definitely let me know you can do the same thing vice versa for you so I hope that this video really helped I think that these are like the main things and like the struggles or the things that people don't know when it comes to struggling like that day job with your passion project but you can do it um, like me I feel like my blog does much more like it yes it has to do with like my personal style and beauty um, but then also like faith based as well which gets into like okay being relevant and serving others and just creating that space for transparent conversations to me that's important um, so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you soon bye guys